Hi, I'm David from Sony. Most of us suffer from having too many remote controls. But thanks to Sony's Tablet S, you can control not only Sony products, but anything with an infrared remote. Today I'm going to show you how to set it up and even learn commands from other remotes. Here's what you'll need. Your Sony Tablet S, the devices you want to control, and the remotes. A typical lounge room might have a TV, DVD player, and cable TV. So let's register these on the tablet. If you haven't already, add the remote control icon to your home screen by tapping the plus sign at the top right and swipe across to remote control and tap it to put it on the home screen with the blue arrow below it. Tap home and go to the screen where you placed the icon. Then tap the remote control icon to start it. Let's start by adding the TV. Select easy registration and tap next. The TV category is the default, so choose your manufacturer brand from the drop-down list. Brands are listed in alphabetical order, but Sony is the first option. Tap Next. The most common commands can be assigned to gestures, so you don't need to look at the screen. Tap the drop-down box and pick which ones you want, and then tap Next. Customise the name of your device by tapping here. Let's call this one Living Room and tap the return key. Tap Remote Control Test and point the tablet at your TV to make sure the volume buttons work. And then tap Finish Test. Tap Finish and your device appears on the list. Now, let's add a DVD player from another brand. Tap on Register Device, select Easy Registration and tap Next. Select a DVD category and tap the Manufacturer drop-down box to find your brand. Then tap Next. Some brands have different sets of commands and you'll be prompted to select a remote type. Tap OK. To find the right one, select a type and test some buttons. Test the buttons you want to use and if they don't work, select another type. When you've found the right one, tap Next. Select the type of gesture control you want and tap Next. Customise its name by tapping here and calling it Main DVD Player, then tap the return key. Lastly, tap Finish. The DVD player appears next to the TV icon. Finally, we'll add Foxtel Cable TV. Since the Foxtel commands aren't preloaded, we'll add functions with the learning option. Tap the plus button and then choose Learn from a Remote Control and then tap Next. Select Cable Box from the category and tap Next. There are two pages of buttons that you can customise, and you can even rename buttons. Let's start with a basic control, like the program guide. Tap Guide, and select Learn Remote Commands. Then point the Foxtel remote at the infrared receiver, like this. Tap Start, and press the remote's guide button until the screen flashes, which confirms the command has been learnt. Repeat this process for all of the buttons you wish to program, like channel change buttons, navigation, menu and mute buttons. To rename a button, such as the program button, tap it and select edit button labels. Type in the new name, such as channel, then tap OK. When you finish with the buttons, tap next to set up gesture controls. Select which set of commands you want and tap next. Customise its name by tapping here. Let's call it Foxtel, then tap the return key. Let's change the icon and test that the buttons are working. Tap Finish and you've successfully programmed three remotes into your tablet. As you explore the app further, you'll be able to customise your layout and create your own super remote. Have fun, I'll see you next time. <laughs>